We've heard the word pivot several times today. Let's to pivot once more for the reading of the Holy Quran by Brother Stu Minister Henry Muhammad. Greetings to all. Uh, it's definitely an honor and a pleasure to be here before you. Uh, as a man of God and as a Muslim, I want to begin all things in the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. I bear witness to the oneness of God and thank him for his revelation through Moses and the Torah, through Jesus and the Gospel, and through Muhammad and the Holy Quran. Peace be upon all these worthy servants of God. As a student of the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and a student minister of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, I am honored to say and thankful for those men that stood up in our time to allow me to hear the word of God and be able to stand before you now on behalf of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. As in those names, I want to greet you all in the greeting words of peace and paradise we say in the Arabic language of assalamu alaikum. I am very thankful to Noble and honored to be here for the second time, because I was here last year with you all, and be with you in this kind of ceremony where we're celebrating the birth of our brother, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King. I always keep Reverend out there because a lot time from time to, from time to time we hear doctor, doctor, doctor. But this was and is a man of God. Is that right? And so when we're talking about a man of God, we're talking about faith. We're talking about people that are willing to step into hell with a gasoline jacket on just to save one. And it's fitting, I mean, they had me come up right behind the mayor. Let's give the mayor another well-deserved <laughs> round of applause. I know, sis, you know, because it's like, how do you come up behind that? You know, with all the dignitaries that are here and even waiting to hear from our sister Danielle Outlaw and what she's about to say to us, I've got to give honor to Noble because the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan always held y'all up high, even as y'all helped him and promoted him in the work that he has been doing. And when we start talking about law enforcement and we're talking about uh, those politicians and those who set policies among us and strive hard, and I'm talking about on the local level, to fight for the people, it reminds me of what the minister teaches us about heaven and earth. One thing we have to understand when we're dealing from that level on a spiritual plane, those who represent the politics, those who are rep representing law enforcement, you represent the earthly plane, but the clergy do represent heaven. And what's been happening is heaven is not dictating to the earth. So as I get ready to read from the Holy Quran, I just want to put that out there because when we start turning this thing back around to let the heaven dictate to the earth and we start uniting more in the work that we're doing, all of us are trying to do the same thing, but we're not united in the way that we need to do it. Amen. And then when we're in our unity, we'll be our strength. And when we become more united, then it starts showing who's the real ones and who's the fake ones in regards to dealing with the plight of the people and dealing with humanity. So with that being said, there is a scripture in the Holy Quran. <coughs> it's entitled chapter uh, 103. We call it Surah 103. And it's entitled Al-Asa in Arabic. But in English, it means the time. The time. And God says, in the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful, by the time, surely man is in loss, except for those who believe and do good and exhort one another to truth and exhort one another to patience. See, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan teaches us, and he taught me, that that time is the yardstick of measurement of our actions and of our actions, and if our actions are not in accord with the time then we will suffer great loss. So it is proper, it is right, and it is just that the knowledge of the time be given to the whole human family. Dr. King stood for justice. Justice is fair dealing. It's not justice for some and different kind of justice for others. It's fair dealing across the board. Justice goes to sleep with us when we close our eyes. Justice wakes up with us when we wake up in the morning. And in the end times, which as we know as clergy, we're in the day of judgment, God's weapon is justice. So everybody, what goes around comes around and it comes around faster now. It's not slow like it was before. 
And when God is bringing his justice, if we study it from the scriptures, Bible or Quran, Torah or the gospel, and we heard gospel coming from that word in the, in the uh, uh, choir today. When we study it, we have to understand God has always used the weather as his weapon to bring justice. We see the kind of cold that's going through the Midwest. We see the kind of cold that's coming from the Midwest headed this way. We see how it was during the summer. We've seen rain, hail, snow, and earthquakes. Well, for a people like us, as we would say people of color, I'm talking about black people who are descendants of slaves that have been here for over 468 years, we have not received justice. Many people fought, bled, and died. Many people sat and weighed in. Many people got at lunch counters to cause integration so that we can get what we can get, suffered indignity. But then what do we inherit from that? It can't be just a political position. I'm a child of the 60s. What was left for me to leave for my children? So now those of us that are standing, we got to stand to make sure we leave a legacy in the name of Dr. King, in the name of those heroes, those sheroes that stood up for the rest of us. We got to stand regardless to whom or what. Not to sound good when it needs to be sound good. Not to sound right when it's in front of a camera. But to walk the walk and talk the talk because our youth are suffering. And some of them have a right to have an attitude for what has not been left. A political position, a good job, but we haven't united to have our own? No, brothers and sisters. God will, he will whip us behind that. So if we're going to stand in the name of king and we're going to stand in justice, then it has to be justice all around, all across the board. It's not about black and white, but if I don't stand for myself, then how am I going to stand for anybody else? How am I going to want it better for anybody else? So when we stand like this, if it's going to be all the way across the board and it's about fair dealing, let's be fair with one another. The characterization of each and every one of us will determine, well, who's, a, who's working for God and who's working for the devil. Because there is a fight going on right now between truth and falsehood. And I stand with King and I stand with Farrakhan and I stand with the truth. I thank you, brothers and sisters, as I greet you in peace once again. Assalamu alaikum. Something about truth, when you hear it, it rings in your spirit, amen?